Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a piano and synth pad layered sound on the Nord Stage 4. Let's jump right into this. When you first turn the Nord Stage 4 on, chances you're going to land on either the last program you called up, or if it's new, you might land on the A11 program. Beautiful program, not what we're looking for. So what we're going to do, the first thing is we're going to initialize the whole program and get us back to kind of a blank slate. It's not going to delete or mess anything up that's already been saved. We just want to get back to a blank slate. To do this, hold shift and tap on this layer init button right here at the same time. And it's going to ask you, what do you want to initialize? We're going to say we want to initialize all. So then if we hit shift or exit, now we're just Back to a simple white grand. Beautiful piano sound. We're going to add some stuff to it. So that's the piano. If we turn the piano section off and go to the synth, we have this shape saw. That's what it goes to when it initializes. Also, not what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the synth section off for now. And we're just going to come back to our piano. Let's focus on the piano first. So. Key of C is boring. Let's choose a different key. Let's go with the key of E. First thing that I like to do when building a piano and pad layer is to get a little reverb on my piano. Pretty dry right now. It's kind of like you're sitting in front of it in a small room. Let's go ahead and on our layer effects section, we're going to hold shift and tap on the section button below the piano AB. And that's going to take the effects from applying to the whole piano section to individually applying to each layer A and B. If we switch between the layers, you'll notice my effects follow and it switches the effects over here. So we're going to stay on layer A for the piano. Now, if yours was already on just one lit up over A, then you're good. You don't need to do that. This just switches it on and off from being dedicated to the whole section or each layer. So piano layer A is on effects, piano layer A. So we're going to turn the reverb on. And yeah, let's keep it on stage. And I'm going to give this maybe a four. The other thing that I'm going to do is turn the EQ on. And I'm going to just take a little bit of the treble and bring that up. about plus four. And I'm going to bring the bass back about four. We can see what that sounds like just raw piano by turning the effects layer off. Now, the last thing I want to do on the piano is turn the dynamic compression on to 25%. Tap the button once, it's going to turn it on. What dynamic compression is doing is evening out the volume of what you're playing. So when you're playing really soft, it brings that volume up. And when you're playing hard, it kind of it, it makes them all sound more on the same volume level than having really quiet piano and really loud piano. It doesn't squash it like a traditional compressor either. So it's really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and just play this. So already we've built a really beautiful piano sound. Now I have the triple pedal. If you've got one of the Nord pedals, 
the paddle noise just adds a little bit to it. Make sure your string res is on. If it's not, just cycle through these until you get string res on there. And that is our piano sound. Let's go ahead and store this and then we'll add the synth to it. So we're going to tap on store and we're going to page to one of our empty banks here. We could hold shift and jump pages there. And I'm just going to go to a free one here. We've got an empty slot H13 and I'm actually going to hold shift tap on store and we are going to change the name of this to say, uh, let's go with piano pad. And you can do this. I have another video on how to name and organize your sound. So if you're curious on that, go check that out on my channel. But for this one, we're going to call it Piano Pad. Perfect. And then we're just going to double tap on store and that's going to store this to our each 13 slot. Now let's go ahead and turn the synth section on. Now, of course, if we just played this together, our piano sections on volume up their synth section on our volumes up sounds horrible because that's not, not the synth sound that we want. We're going to jumpstart this a little bit and leverage the very nice preset library on the Nord stage four tap on the synth. And what this is doing is there are presets that come with the Nord stage four that are pre-built synth sounds or synth pad sounds. We're going to start with soft pad one, primarily because I want to show you what kind of tweaks I make to the parameters here to get the sound I want and what I'm looking for and some tips there. We could start with another synth pad sound that's closer to the sound that we're trying to get, but we're going to start with soft pad one. You could do others like soft pad two others, but again, soft pad one, I found that I don't know if you want to call it a bug or an undocumented feature. If you don't scroll with the encoder at least once and you move away, it doesn't select the sound right. So we're just going to do that. Scroll forward and then back to select soft pad one. And then you can either tap on the synth button or the exit button to get back. And now we have this soft pad one. And what we can do is use this nice little function called solo and it's not Han solo. It's just solo on our synth layer. You'll see that's blinking. We could go over to our piano layer. And solo is just letting you hear that one single layer with its accompanying effects and things like that. So we're going to stay on solo and we're going to work on this synth sound. Now we have a couple of things that are working together over here. We're on our analog mode. So this is the analog super saw and it's got some tweaks to it already from that preset. We're going to take it a little bit further. We have the filter and the envelope sections here and we're going to play with the envelopes on both of these. So let's first on the filter, let's take that envelope. You'll see it's on 0.5 milliseconds for the attack. And what this is, is the attack is how quick the sound comes in. So if we just play this, And we bring that attack all the way forward. Bring that back to about, let's go with maybe two. Now, if you can hear, there's kind of two different sounds going on here. The filter itself, if I bring this back to maybe one second, so it comes in a little bit faster. Listen, when I first play, there's an initial sound and then there's a second one that fades in within one second. It's a bit of a swell that we have going on there. What I want to do is take the amp envelope and I want to increase the attack on that as well to about 540.
actually going to bring that up a little bit more, come back to our envelope and increase that because I do want that swell, but I want both of these to be a little slower coming in. Perfect. So that's one piece. The middle piece that we have here is the decay. And both of these are set to infinite decay, which is what we want. What that would do is, that is when you're holding the note, how fast the sound tails off. So on infinite, they're gonna hold forever. I could just sit here with a sustained pedal, that just hold on forever. But if I bring the decay back on my filter all the way to the shortest it can be, watch how fast this tails off. So what it's doing is it's coming in and then dropping right off. We have a little bit of sound there because over on our amp, we also have that envelope. So if we drop that back, now we get nothing. So both of those are coming in slowly and then just dropping off. We want to leave those on infinite because I want to be able to hold this synth pad for as long as I want. And the last piece to the envelope that we're going to change is the release. So the release is after I let go of the key, how long that sound lasts or uh, tails off after I let off. So right now the filter is pretty quick. So we're gonna take the release on that. We're gonna bring that up to about, I'm gonna go somewhere around the 10 second range. A little bit better. Let's go over to our amp envelope and let's increase that as well. Not 45, but something more like 10. And let's take a look at what that sounds like. So that's too slow, right? It's taking a long time to tail off. If we did that, as we change chords, they're gonna start to get all muddy because they're all taking too long to tail off. So let's go ahead and take this back to about, uh, let's try 1.5, that gets us close enough. Let's come over here and do the same here. The swelling, I don't really care as much coming off as I do coming in. Come over to our amp and increase that just a little bit more. Let's go with maybe a three. Perfect. Now, one tip and, and why I have the sound fade in a little bit slower is when we add this to the piano. So let's go ahead and unsolo. I'm just going to bring our piano layer in and we play these together. Now the nice thing with having them come in a little slower is if I do a little bit of riffing on the piano, the synth is coming in slower so I don't get a bunch of muddy synth notes with that. That would have been really muddy if that synth was coming in quick. I would have got the da 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 all kind of mashed together. And so that is a couple of tweaks I make to the envelope portions of the filter and the amp. One other thing I'm going to do here is we're going to take our frequency of the filter and bring that all the way down. And let's solo our synth again and listen to what this is. So the filter is all the way down. So just getting a tiny bit of sound there. And as we bring this in, it's going to bring in that bright, it's going to go from warm to bright. I'm going to land somewhere between 50 and 70 on this. And I actually think I want to make Somehow the release feels a little too short on these. So let's try this. Yeah, so we're going to have the release of our filter around 3.6 and 4.6 for the amp, just because, again, I felt like it was a little bit too sharp there. So on the frequency, again, we landed right around 70, 73. 
Kind of play with this to your liking, uh, but let's unsolo this and play this with our piano. I feel like the synth though is a little bit too prevalent in those piano parts. Now the great thing with the North Stage 4 is we have these faders up here in our sections for quick volume control over our layers. And sometimes I'll strike a little bit of a balance between the filter frequency and the volume. So I might bring the frequency in, volume down. So one last thing that I want to do to our synth sound is bring in a little bit of cloud reverb and I find that this adds a really nice touch to the synth sound or the synth pad sound we've got here. So we're going to go on our synth pad sound. Again, make sure your effects are only going to layer A rather than the entire synth. If it's all lit up here, just tap on shift and press section so that you only have one light lit up here in the synth section should be A. Over here, we're going to go down to our cathedral. We're going to hold shift and tap on that type button again to get to the cloud reverb. And then we're going to bring in just, let's go with like three and a half. And we're going to change the setting to the dark reverb. So let's solo the synth. Let's start with the effects off. And then bring them on. As I'm listening to this, I want to change my attack a little bit on both of these. I feel like it's just a little bit too long. Unsolo that. So the last thing we're going to do here before we wrap this video up is assign the morph assign for the volume of our synth layer to our wheel. So I do this a lot. You could also do this to an expression pedal if you have a volume style expression pedal. What we're going to do is bring our volume all the way down and then we're going to hold on the morph assign wheel. We're going to bring the volume all the way up. What this is going to do now is assign the volume of our synth layer one to the modulation wheel or the modulation stone. So as we play the piano, So there you go. That is how you create a piano and pad sound. There's a lot we could do differently here to tweak this sound. We could bring in other layers, 
put the, you know, play with the octave up and down on those layers. Um, as I'm building synth pad sounds, depending on what I'm building it for, I'll do different things. But hopefully that gives you kind of the fundamentals and a little bit inside my brain of what I'm looking for when I'm building these sounds, both from the piano side and also the synth side, and a little bit on the effects, some tips and tricks along the way. If you've got any questions with any of what I went over in this video, throw those down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, stay inspired, and keep making that music.